Hello, I'm Father Hezekiah Carnazzo of the Institute of Catholic Culture, and it's a blessing to be here with you today as we continue our Advent journey toward the Nativity of our Blessed Savior. In the readings today, we hear the church speak to us of a strong city, of gates, and of a kingdom. And in their historical context, these images are meant to evoke in us the memory of the holy city, Jerusalem. It is Jerusalem that is the strong city with beautiful gates. And it is the city where God's just people are gathered together. But there is something more that the church calls us to consider, something more than an earthly city. And that is the revelation of the new Jerusalem, which is the Catholic church, built not upon an earthly rock, but upon the eternal rock, which is the Lord himself. In this new city, man enters not through wooden gates, but through the gate of justice and through faith in the Lord. It is, the, it is this final image, that of the gate and the question of how we enter, that the church places before us for our meditation today. In the gospel, Jesus says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Do you see, it is not enough that we say we are Christian. Christianity is not a title that one is given. Christianity is a way of life. And that way of life is determined not by what you want or what I want, what I like, but it is determined by the Lord and his teachings. The time of Advent is given to us for our reflection. It is a time in which we are called to ask ourselves, are we living according to the gospel or are we living according to the laws of this world? Let us spend the short time we have together, the few weeks left before the feast, in prayer. Let us spend it in almsgiving. Let us spend it in fasting. That we might be conformed to the laws of this new city and to the laws of the King of all. May God bless you today as you continue your journey of preparation. And may the Lord himself be born in your heart this Christmas. I invite you to visit our website, instituteofcatholicculture.org, where you will find over 700 hours of free audio and video education for your spiritual growth and for your blessing. May God bless you today.